Hello friends. Greetings from PMP New Horizon Group and welcome to this video. In this video, we will explain the conflict management techniques listed the PMBOK Guide 7th edition. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel to view upcoming videos. In addition, we have shared a few links in the description that will help you to access the exam study material. It emphasizes that conflict can have both positive and negative impacts on projects. When managed well, conflict can lead to improved collaboration, greater trust among team members, and enhanced commitment to project outcomes. On the other hand, mishandling conflict can result in dissatisfaction, weakened trust, reduced morale, and diminished motivation among project stakeholders. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel to view upcoming videos. In addition, we have shared a few links in the description that will help you to access the exam study material. Confronting, problem solving. This approach involves treating conflicts as problems that can be collaboratively solved. It is most suitable when maintaining a positive relationship between parties is crucial, and when both parties trust each other's ability to work together to find solutions. Example 1. Team member disagreement. Imagine a software development project where two team members have different opinions on the best approach to solving a technical challenge. One team member believes that using a certain programming language would be more efficient, while the other prefers a different language. Both team members have a good working relationship and trust each other's technical expertise. In this scenario, the confronting, problem-solving approach would involve the two team members sitting down to discuss their viewpoints and explore the pros and cons of each approach. They would collaborate to find a solution that takes into account the project requirements, technical feasibility, and their shared goal of delivering a high-quality product. By treating the conflict as a problem to be solved, they can reach a mutually agreeable solution while maintaining their positive working relationship. Example 2. Stakeholder conflicting priorities. In a marketing project, there might be conflicts between stakeholders with varying priorities. For instance, the marketing team wants to emphasize creative content in a campaign, while the legal team is concerned about compliance with advertising regulations. In this case, the confronting, problem-solving approach would involve convening a meeting with representatives from both teams to address the conflicting priorities. The teams would collaboratively identify solutions that balance the need for creativity with legal compliance. By focusing on problem-solving and jointly working towards a resolution, the teams can find middle ground that satisfies both the creative and legal aspects of the project. In both examples, the confronting, problem-solving approach emphasizes open communication, collaboration, and a shared commitment to finding solutions. This approach recognizes that conflicts can be opportunities for growth and improved decision-making when addressed in a constructive manner. It helps maintain positive relationships while ensuring that projects stay on track and meet their objectives. Collaborating. Collaborating method involves bringing together multiple perspectives to understand different viewpoints and ultimately reach a consensus. Collaborating is particularly effective when there is mutual trust among the participants and sufficient time to work through the conflict. The project manager often plays a facilitative role in this type of conflict resolution. Example 1. Resource allocation. Imagine a project where two functional managers, each responsible for a critical resource, let's say software developers and QA testers, have conflicting needs. The software developers need more resources to meet their coding deadlines, while the QA testers need the same resources to thoroughly test the software before release. Both managers have valid concerns and are key stakeholders in the project's success. In a collaborating approach, the project manager would bring these managers together to discuss their resource needs, project priorities, and potential impacts on the project's timeline and quality. By incorporating multiple views and exploring different perspectives, they can collaboratively find a solution that addresses both departments' needs while minimizing the negative impact on the project. This might involve adjusting the project schedule, temporarily reallocating resources, or finding other creative solutions that align with the project's goals. Example 2. Scope Changes Consider a project where the marketing team proposes significant scope changes to a product launch, but the product development team has concerns about the feasibility and timeline impact of these changes. Both teams have valuable insights and are passionate about the project's success, but they need to reconcile their differing views. 
In a collaborating approach, the project manager would facilitate a meeting between the marketing and product development teams. During this meeting, the teams would openly discuss their perspectives, the potential benefits and risks of the scope changes, and any potential alternatives. The project manager ensures that all voices are heard and encourages a creative problem-solving process. By learning from each other's viewpoints and collaborating on finding a solution, the teams can reach a consensus that meets the project's objectives while considering the feasibility and impact of the proposed scope changes. In both examples, collaborating involves creating an environment where different perspectives are respected and considered. Compromising. Compromising approach involves finding a middle ground or a solution that partially satisfies all parties involved in a conflict. Compromising is especially useful when full satisfaction for all parties isn't achievable, but reaching an agreement is still essential to move forward. Example 1. Budget allocation. Consider a project where the marketing team and the IT team have conflicting needs for the project budget. The marketing team believes that a significant portion of the budget should be allocated to marketing campaigns for better product visibility, while the IT team argues that investing in technology upgrades is crucial for the project's long-term success. In a compromising approach, the project manager would bring the marketing and IT teams together to discuss their budget requirements. They would openly share their priorities and concerns. The project manager might propose a compromise where a portion of the budget is allocated to marketing campaigns, satisfying the marketing team's needs, while another portion is invested in technology upgrades, addressing the IT team's concerns. While neither team gets their entire wish, They both gain something and avoid escalating the conflict. Example 2. Project Timeline. Imagine a project where the project sponsor expects an aggressive timeline for project delivery, while the project team is concerned that such a tight timeline might compromise the quality of the work. In a compromising approach, the project manager would facilitate a conversation between the project sponsor and the project team. They would discuss the project's requirements, risks, and constraints. To reach a compromise, they might agree on a slightly extended timeline that allows the team to maintain a high standard of work quality while still delivering within a reasonable time frame. This way, both parties make concessions to find common ground. In both examples, compromising involves finding a solution that offers something to each party involved. While it might not lead to complete satisfaction, it prevents conflicts from escalating and ensures progress. Compromising is particularly useful when the parties involved have relatively equal influence or when achieving consensus is crucial for the project's success. It requires effective communication, a willingness to negotiate, and a focus on achieving the project's objective within the constraints and concerns of all stakeholders. Smoothing, accommodating. The smoothing, accommodating conflict resolution involves prioritizing the overall project goal and maintaining harmony between parties over resolving a specific disagreement. This approach is useful when preserving relationships and achieving the project's objectives are of greater importance than the particular issue causing the conflict. Example 1. Scope Adjustment. Consider a project where the project team has concerns about a proposed scope change that the client is adamant about implementing. The project team believes that the scope change could jeopardize the project timeline and budget. However, maintaining a positive relationship with the client is crucial for future business opportunities. In a smoothing, accommodating approach, the project manager might acknowledge the client's perspective and concerns. The project manager could offer to accommodate the scope change, making an effort to minimize its impact on the project timeline and budget. By prioritizing the relationship with the client and demonstrating flexibility, the project manager aims to preserve goodwill and ensure a successful project outcome, even if it requires some adjustments. Example 2. Resource allocation. Imagine a situation where two project managers within an organization are vying for the same highly skilled team member. The team member's expertise is crucial for both projects, and the teams are in direct competition for this resource. In a smoothing, accommodating approach, the project managers might decide to collaborate and find a compromise that allows both projects to utilize the resource. This compromise could involve sharing the resources time between the two projects, even if it means a slightly adjusted timeline for each project. By prioritizing the organization's overall objectives and maintaining a cooperative approach, 
The project managers aim to avoid conflicts, maintain positive relationships, and ensure that both projects move forward effectively. In both examples, the smoothing, accommodating approach focuses on achieving a harmonious resolution that benefits the project's overall success and the relationships involved. It may involve making concessions to accommodate the concerns and priorities of others, even if it means temporarily setting aside certain conflicts. Forcing. The forcing conflict resolution involves using authority or power to quickly resolve a conflict when there isn't enough time for collaboration or problem solving. This approach is employed when immediate action is required, and one party exerts its influence to enforce a solution on the other party. Example 1. Health and safety emergency. Imagine a construction project where there is a sudden and critical safety issue on the site, such as a structural integrity concern that poses an immediate risk to workers. The project manager, who has the authority to make decisions related to health and safety, identifies the problem and orders a halt to all work until the issue is addressed. In a forcing approach, the project manager makes a decisive decision based on their authority and expertise. The urgency of the situation does not allow for extended collaboration or consensus building. The project manager's priority is to ensure the safety of the workers and prevent any potential accidents. The decision is imposed on the project team and stakeholders to immediately address the safety concern. Example 2. Regulatory Compliance Deadline. Consider a project where the regulatory authorities have issued a strict deadline for compliance with new environmental regulations. The project team is facing challenges in meeting these requirements within the given time frame. In a forcing approach, the project manager might use their authority to make a swift decision, even if it means making unpopular choices. For instance, The project manager might impose additional resources and overtime to meet the compliance deadline, regardless of team members' concerns about workload or work-life balance. The urgency of regulatory compliance takes precedence over collaborative decision-making, and the project manager enforces a solution to meet the deadline. In both examples, the forcing style is employed when time is limited, and the situation requires an immediate resolution due to critical factors such as safety or compliance. This approach relies on the authority and power of a party to impose a solution, and it may not prioritize the collaboration or consensus building seen in other conflict resolution styles. Forcing should be used judiciously, as it can potentially strain relationships if not applied carefully and with consideration for the long-term impacts. Withdrawal, avoiding. The withdrawal, avoiding conflict resolution style involves intentionally avoiding or withdrawing from a conflict situation. This approach is chosen when it is deemed that the problem might resolve itself over time, when emotions need to cool down, or when a situation is perceived as a no-win scenario where challenging the conflict might be futile. Example 1. Small disagreements. In a project team, two team members have differing opinions on a minor aspect of the project, such as the color scheme of a website. Both team members feel strongly about their preferences, but the overall project progress and success are not significantly impacted by this choice. In a withdrawal, avoiding approach, the project manager might choose to let the team members resolve the disagreement themselves or give it time to naturally resolve. This approach acknowledges that the issue might not be worth escalating and that the passage of time might lead to a shift in perspective or a mutual agreement. By not investing significant effort into resolving a relatively minor issue, The project manager avoids unnecessary conflict and maintains focus on more critical project matters. Example 2. Regulatory Compliance. Imagine a construction project where a regulatory agency imposes a new safety requirement that adds extra work and delays to the project. The project team disagrees with the requirement, seeing it as unnecessary and burdensome. However, challenging the regulatory agency's requirement might lead to legal complications and delays. In a withdrawal, avoiding approach, the project manager might decide to comply with the regulatory requirement despite the disagreement. The team recognizes that challenging the requirement could lead to further conflicts and potential legal consequences that might outweigh the benefits of contesting it. In this scenario, the project manager chooses to avoid a confrontational approach and accepts the requirement to minimize potential negative impacts on the project. In both examples, the withdrawal, avoiding style is chosen when the conflict or disagreement is not worth the time, effort, or potential negative consequences of resolution.
This approach acknowledges that not all conflicts need to be addressed immediately or head on, and sometimes allowing time to pass or letting certain issues go can be the most prudent course of action. Thank you for taking the time to engage with our presentation on conflict management. We hope you found the information insightful and valuable in understanding the dynamics of conflicts within project environments. We will see you in the next video on another PMP topic.